Okay. Well, it's a beautiful day, so we're up on the studio roof. Today we'll be discussing Laura Ingalls Wilder, author of The Little House on the Prairie Books, whose name has been removed from a writing award because her books display stereotypical attitudes and contain racial language. Well, duh, of course they do. Sorry. Okay, go again. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful day, so we're up on the studio roof. Today we're going to be discussing Laura Ingalls Wilder, author of The Little House on the Prairie Books, whose name has been removed from a writing award because her books display stereotypical attitudes and contain racial language. I mean, for fuck's sake, I'd be fucking amazed if they didn't, frankly. These books, they're based on the author's childhood between 1870 and 1894. That's like five years after slavery was abolished. The books were written during the Jim Crow laws. It's almost as if cultural norms aren't fixed and changed with the passage of time. Who is this helping? No one. No one needs protecting from Little House on the fucking Prairie. Or for that matter, the racially charged language of Huckleberry Finn or To Kill a Mockingbird or fucking... What does this achieve? Who does this help? Stop sanitising and denying the past to make yourself look good. I'm fucking, I'm sick of it. It's utter bullshit. And it's fucking everywhere you look. We live in the most inclusive, progressive, diverse, prosperous society ever in human history, yet we behave as if we've never had it so fucking bad. We're told that there is prejudice wherever you look because there aren't enough female biographies on Wikipedia or enough BAME cyclists on the road. Apparently, the biggest challenge to London cyclists is not safety, it's diversity. We used to react to prejudice. Now we actively seek it out, often where it doesn't fucking exist. Fucking, fucking Google has taken the egg out of its salad emoji to make it more inclusive for vegans. Is there a single vegan in the world that feels triggered or oppressed or unrepresented by a salad emoji with an egg in it? What does this achieve? Who does this help? My generation, right, we've, we've never really had to fight for much. Gay rights certainly has come a long way in my lifetime, but I mean, we never had to fight for the vote. We never had to fight in a fucking war. You know, my grandmother watched the Battle of Britain taking place above her house. Nazis in planes over her house attempting to invade our country. Actual Nazis, I'm not talking Trump voters, actual Nazis. Recently, you had Vogue magazine saying tackling women's issues today is harder than women's battle for the vote. You pampered, privately educated cunts. The suffragettes went on fucking hunger strike. Emily Davidson sacrificed her life. Wearing a Louis Vuitton black dress on a red carpet is not the same as jumping in front of a fucking racehorse. Stop fucking demonstrating how fucking worthy you are. And it's not just, it's not just, it's fucking, look at this, look at this, it's fucking everything. It's everything, right? What's this? This, the pride fucking sponsored Costa coffee. Who does this help? Who does, I'd like a skinny latte, please, with one pump of sugar-free hazelnut syrup. Would you like it in a cup that publicly displays that you're happy with the notion of same-sex couples having the right to, I just want a fucking coffee, mate. It's 6.30 a.m. and in 20 minutes I'm scheduled to interview Amber fucking Rudd. I just need the fucking caffeine. Give me my fucking skinny latte. We don't call it a skinny latte anymore, sir, because that phrase is considered fat shaming. So I would just fuck off then.